friends thank you so much for stopping by the channel and today's video is the 20th episode of elevate with Ankara where I will be revealing the shorts that I made and elevate it with Ankara elevate with Ankara is a series on my channel that I am doing along with Cherie of Cherie Thomas so she has it on her channel as well and we talk about all things Ankara fabric and how you can elevate your basic looks with it so if you haven't gone over to her channel to see her gorgeous makes please make sure that you do so and I will link to her channel in the description box below all right so let's go ahead and get into this reveal so last week I uploaded a video that showcased all of the short patterns that I plan to pick from to make my shorts for this video and a lot of my patterns have very similar features but the one I decided to go with is simplicity 1069 and I picked that pattern for a couple of different of reasons and I will go ahead and explain what those reasons are the first reason is because I have only made pants and shorts using an elasticated waistline and the reason for that is because of the protrusion that I have around my belly area and I find it easier to fit bottoms that have elastic but this time I wanted to try something different and this pattern was going to help me do that okay this pattern is clean all the way around the front and the back meaning it's flat in the front and it's flat in the back so it doesn't have the gathered effect and so again that's the reason why I went ahead and went with that pattern so let's go ahead and get into the details of this pattern so again I picked simplicity 1069 the pattern has five different views but there's only one view for the shorts which is view C and that is the view that I made the other offerings that this pattern has is wide leg pants and skirts in two lengths and the skirt is a wrap skirt so if you're interested in something like that this is a good pattern and the fabric recommendations are going to be your chalets crepe crepe back satins linen types silky types double georgettes cotton chambray's those types of fabrics and the fabric that i used of course was this beautiful 100 percent ankara fabric that has this purple dominant colorway as well as some golds and well it could be like a mustard yellow or some golds but it is showing true to color here on camera and this is what it looks like and so the main uh, print and the main big feature within this fabric print is this windmill looking thing and they're they're very big um, but I was able to get one on each side so there's one here this one here on this side and then in the back I have one up top and another one uh, almost a full one at the bottom so again that was purchased from House of Mami Wata and I I didn't get it that long ago it has been since this series has been you know published um, but yeah yeah not too long ago the one thing I will say about this fabric though that I did not realize when I purchased it is that this gold or mustard yellow looking stuff it's like a metallic it's shiny has like a raincoat feel to it and this fabric does not have like like you you can tell the inside from the out or the wrong side from the right side so like this is the inside of the fabric you can see how much more dull it is and then right here where the hem is you can see the difference between the wrong side of the fabric and the right side so this right here is all wrong this is right so most of the time with the Ankara fabric you can use both sides of the fabric and you won't even be able to tell the difference but with this fabric you can it's not a big deal um, because I didn't make anything that had like ruffles that had exposed um, the back sides or anything like that so it was okay so for the skill level the skill level is noted as average and I would say that that um, would be right and the reason why is because this pattern it requires an invisible zipper to be installed um, but other than that I found it to be really really simple to make and I made it in a couple of hours I didn't make this in a couple of days I just sat down 
and I made it so yeah very simple but if you do struggle with zippers then you will have a problem and as far as the notions are concerned I only use thread and then that one zipper and it was a nine inch zipper and it does tell you to cut it down an inch because um, you don't really need that long of a zipper but yet you still need more than seven inches and I think the zippers come in like seven inches or nine inches and then like 20 18 20 to 22 things like that so it just tells you to purchase a nine inch invisible zipper i didn't purchase that i had a 22 invisible zipper already in my stash in my little drawers over here so that is what i used and i cut it down and then i you know just closed off the end of the zipper so that it would not open on me so for the pattern sizing this pattern comes in size 4 to 20 and the size that i cut was a 20 and at first i thought i was going to be able to cut a size 16 and i'm i'm not really sure where i got that from because this is the type of garment that i would have to like actually want sit on my body and not move or shift and I wanted to make sure that I cut the perfect size so I put this I cut out the size 16 for the facing pieces with muslin fabric and I sewed them together I wrapped them about my you know around my body and pinned where the zipper would be um, with the correct seam allowances and things like that and that wasn't working out at all like I said I'm not really sure where I got the size 16 from but I needed about four extra inches in order for this to come around my body so I went from the size 16 you know try from trying that size straight to the size 20 which is the largest size that you can cut out to see if that would work and it did it did um, I think if I had gone up a size which I can't because 20 is the largest it would have been too big and if I had gone down I wouldn't have been able to get into it so it was the perfect size for me and if you're wondering why I cut out the facing pieces I'll go ahead and explain the reason why I cut out the facing pieces instead of measuring the pattern pieces is because there are front pleats and back darts and I didn't want to have to like fold the pattern pieces and possibly get the wrong measurement so I believe that using the facing pieces pieces are always going to be the most accurate uh, way outside of making like the whole outfit because the facing pieces is what the finished garment is going to measure out to be and again um, that's why I tested the sizes that way with that being said I don't think that this pattern though is very size inclusive because I think that stopping at a size 20 in shorts is just not wide enough. You know, a lot of people are much wider than that. But I will say that they do start at the size 4, which is something that I don't see very often. So for the pattern pieces that I use, I use the front, the back, the front facing and the back facing i did cut out the tie belt pattern piece but i didn't make it because i rarely use them when i do make them so i decided against it the pattern also calls for belt carriers and i didn't realize that it called for belt carriers for this particular view which is view c and when i was reading and following along the instructions i didn't have them to cut out and i realized that i should have but i didn't feel like pulling the fabric out and unfold the pattern pieces that i had already folded up so yeah i didn't want to do all that so i just didn't care and i didn't put them on but to be honest i would not have worn a belt with these shorts i mean i rarely wear belts that are not the oh i lost the word for it the big belts the um ob belt ob type belts so yeah i i don't feel like i lost anything by not doing that mm -hmm. but the pattern instructions were very easy to follow as long as you know how to follow along instructions you won't have any issues with this uh, i do think it looks like the photo drawing on the pattern envelope and the things that i liked about this pattern is i did like the width i do i should say like the width of the shorts and how easy it comes together i like the front pleats i like the back darts and the invisible zipper and here is a close up of those things so here are the well i got got it on the hanger so let me go ahead and take it off but here is a close-up of the pleats if you can see I know with Ankara fabric it's usually hard but you can see it here and then again over here and then 
Here are your back darts, just a simple back dart. It's right here. I'm not sure if you can see it on that side. Might be a little bit easier over here. So here's the back dart here. And you know, I love me an invisible zipper. It's not 100% invisible, but here it is. And let's see, is there anything that I disliked about the pattern? It doesn't have pockets. <laughs> I have been out of the groove of sewing because I whipped up all this stuff that I will be sharing very soon on my channel for vacation. I made like 12 different things and then I haven't sewn in a couple of weeks. So I've been kind of like out of the routine of sewing and I simply spaced the fact that this pattern didn't have pockets because of that. I just went along normally I'd be like oh no pockets let me add pockets so yes this pattern doesn't have pockets um but I won't be adding any I'm just gonna leave this alone and, and wear it as is <laughs> um, but I did not learn any new techniques but I did have a first time experience this was the first time that I made shorts with no elastic and it had a zipper um I will say that would yeah shorts or pants I had never made without an elasticated waist so yes that was the first time experience for me uh, but I didn't make any alterations to this pattern like I said I just made it as is minus like the carriers that's not an alteration I just didn't add it um, but I would definitely uh, recommend to add pockets if that is a preference of yours if you decide to make this this is a very very good and easy pattern however like I said because of the issue that I have with the protrusion in the belly area I do feel like it bunches when I walk around and I found myself having to straighten the shorts out a little bit so it didn't have all the bunching all right everyone so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to demonstrate and show you how the shorts bunch in the front when I'm walking and then I have to put them back together. Um, but let me know if this is an issue that you have had in the past or if it's just me, you know, something. But I'll go ahead and show you what the bunching is. All right, so I'm straightening it up. This is how I prefer to look on my body. Oops, and I walk and this bunchiness happens. If I walk a little further, you know, I don't know. I just don't like the big poof thing that happens when I walk. Do I think it looks terrible? No. Will I wear them? Yes. I could even make another pair and wear them, but I just don't prefer this look when, it, when I'm walking. All right, so let me know your thoughts. You know, I just had to adjust it to fit my body. So I think this pattern is best for someone who has more of a flat stomach. Um, Mimi G does have a pattern, which is Simplicity 9550. And I did showcase that pattern when I was showing which patterns I was planning to use. And that pattern does not have any elastic either. It has a yoke that looks like a waistband. She has gathers at the seams where the shorts and the yoke meets and I think that style is probably going to be more fitting for me outside of the elasticated waist for my current shape um, just because it would conceal it a little more and I would have been much happier with that fit because like I said her, her pattern is it's going to be more forgiving in that area it kind of gives the feel of a fit and flare type of short so yeah although I'm not like super disgusted or anything with this look and I'm okay with wearing it I could be happier um, but not because of the pattern itself so don't judge it on the pattern it's just because this is just not the right decision fit or design I should say for my body so I am going to go ahead and make Mimi's pattern here in the near future so please make sure that you stay tuned for that and that way you can also see the differences uh, this pattern I can't remember when it came out I put it I, I, I read it a while ago <laughs> it's been a while um, so I don't remember but I will put that in the camera somewhere or in the screen somewhere but um, but it's been out for a little while and it is still available though at Joann's Inn on the Simplicity website as well as Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and paired my shorts with my purple tank and black slides that I had purchased a while back from DSW and some gold leaf earrings that I purchased from Joann's as well. All right, so now I will enter a few more photos and twirls of me in my shorts.
all right so that is it for my shorts please let me know what your thoughts are about this pattern in the comment section below as you know i would love to hear your thoughts i'd love to converse with you please make sure that you stop over by sheree's channel if you have not done so already to see her reveal because i'm sure she has a great treat for you i'm getting ready to close out this video but before you leave you know what i'm gonna say please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button if you have not done so already so that you can be notified of future videos and like i said i have some fun videos that i need to edit that will i will definitely be bringing your way and most of them have to do with my vacation because i did film on when i was out i just you know and i have some hauls that i need to uh publish and things like that so yeah i've got the videos for you it's just the time to edit so they'll be coming very soon thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i will see you in the next video bye